Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In today's video, I am going to show you with full proof that how you can run any kind of application like Redot Pay, like Astro Pay, like Revolve it, or like any other application inside a Blue Stack or inside a LD Player. Okay. So in this video, I will teach you from A to the, A to Z. You can also use this method for any kind of software, any kind of application. Okay. Even if you want to create any account, even if you have any account and if you want to log in, so you can use this method. Okay. Also, at this moment, I don't have any account for Redot Pay, so that's why I'm going to continue it with Google. Okay. You can see right here, I'm creating an account properly and showing you A to Z. Okay. That is really working or not. So, as you can see, the account created successfully. You can select your country here just to get verification. Also, you can use the OBS to do a KYC. I can provide you a KYC tools also, but this video is only for education purposes. I am not responsible for any illegal or for any bad use. Okay. These videos, I am providing you all the knowledge only for education purposes. You can apply for cards if you want to. Okay. The application is working properly. There is no issue. Okay. You can use the card. You can apply for the card. As you can see, uh, here is the virtual cards and here is the physical cards. Okay. Everything is working properly. And if you want to do, for example, if you want to verify everything in a KYC, for example, from OBS, so you can also use this method. But before that, how you can run any kind of application. Okay. To run any kind of application, you need emulator detection bypass first of all. Okay, this bypass right here is an emulator bypass for the files, which can be used to bypass the files detection from, from the side of the application, from the security of the application, it will bypass the file side. Okay, so right here, first of all, you have to click here on execute in system environment. And then if you are using root, so you can click here execute with root privileges. Okay, and after that, click on execute button and it will activate. And after that, you will be able to run the application. But before that, if you have any network detection uh, in your application, like for example, a K shape, or like revolve it so for those application you can use click here on strange vpn go to reselect host file and here select your host file and click here on this button and simply you can make it green okay so get to get these two files you don't have to find it or don't ask me in comment section from where we can download these files you can contact me on my telegram i can provide you these files this is my private file you understand it's not public or it's not free it's, it's my private file so if you want it, you can contact me. Okay. I can explain it from A to Z. For example, if you want to do anything like here, the account is working properly. Here is no issue. Uh, you, If you want to withdraw, you can use the account properly. There is no issue. Okay. For example, now let me show you one more thing. Now, for example, I want to do a scan QR code. If I click here, click here on allow. And right here, as you can see, it's detect my OBS right here. Now I'm going to do is simply I'm going to open another OBS. You can see here launch anyway. I open another OBS and here I will select remind me later. Okay. What way I will do is simply I will select a document, any document here just to show you a proof that it's working or not. Okay. So uh, a lot of people are contact me, contacting me and wasting my time on Telegram. So please avoid wasting your time. Also avoid, avoid wasting my time. Okay. For example, let's put any picture like this one. Okay. I'm just showing you example. Okay. I put this picture right here and now you will understand. Okay. Now why is showing this? Because there is no virtual camera on. So when I start the virtual camera, I can just see, uh, you can see now. Okay. Just wait a second. Click here on verify. Oh, wait a second. Sorry. Click here on more. Click here on scan code. And here, right here, you can see uh, it's showing it's a card actually. That's why it's showing unsupported card. You can understand it's uh, detecting the camera. So it's that's mean it's working properly. Okay. There is no issue. So this is how actually um, you can use any kind of application, anything. Uh, so you can contact me in today's video this is all i want to show you i hope you guys understand see you next video take care of yourself and all love is